telling you, it's a little more advanced. I don't want to say it's the icing on the cake, but it's near the end of the stroke that is going to make it better. When you hold it on, now you're going to get this rhythm to the ball. That's where you see the loop or the arc or the, 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 the path of the racket that looks like they're making this type of movement. It's not like from the beginning. You know, they've done the unit turn and then the shape occurs here. All right? You start that unit turn. So this is what I'm talking to you now about shaping. But hold it longer and you'll get a little bit of uh, rhythm for free. The bracket's going to drop into the shot for free. Lock it in. And I'd like to see the left. Huh? I'm sorry. I'd like to see your right elbow up just a little bit more. But I want you to keep that left arm after you hit it. Try to go across your body. That's you. You. Lock it. Yeah. You don't have to go straight right away. You can go to here. I mean, Del Potro puts the racket up and away right away. Okay? Just try to go here and shape it. It's all about your hand pass. Hold it. Again. Get your left arm across. Atta boy. Get around it. Again. So when you hit it, watch. Now, regarding your feet, get around it and try to come back into the shot. That's the goal as you keep evolving, evolving with your strategy. To try to take the ball earlier, try to go back into the court. Like you're making a little half moon or a little banana back to the ball. Keep bouncing too. You can always work your feet. Not bad. And I want space. I have a little space. I can put a softball in there. Bring you some deep. No. Great. Nice dad. Again. <laughs> Ready? Up. Get the space. I want the, a softball between your elbow and your body. And maintain that angle. Good. So watch. You look at, look, watch it. See? I maintain it. Look. See, I maintain the same amount of space as I hit the ball. That's why you don't see this coming back in. That's the key. To pull the hand, but you got to keep the elbow right there. Bad. Left arm across. Again, try to be a little like I mentioned. Once you do this, try to come back in. What are you doing now, Gab? Waiting for my dad to come. Where are you going? Nowhere. Is he bringing you food? No. Then you should practice. You don't need to sit down. It's going to rain anyway. That a boy. Good. Fitness? Fitness. Get with John Paolo. Get with someone. Lock it. I want it. I want you to hold that angle. Show me the angle. The letter L. Come here. Let me show you exactly where I want this twist, turn. And have a more of a bend. See how there's a, a, a nice. See how there's that's bent. Don't worry. Don't worry about the straight yet. The straight is going to evolve from him shaping and looping. Look. So I want him to maintain a 90 degree angle out of the preparation. Have the space there, left hand on. Okay, you see how you got it? And then shape it to the outside and pull. Don't worry about stepping in, Turk. It's overrated. Don't worry about your hand. Coming at you. See, that's what's gonna happen. Obviously, you didn't move your feet. But your left side is open so quickly, there's not a lot left with the racket, the power. Left side, right side. Walk it in. Pretty good stroke. Again. Atta boy. Set it. Get that left arm across. I know it's tough when you're competitive. Atta boy. Good miss. Better. Now come back to the ball. Come back. Come on. Put some icing on the cake. Come back to it. Come back. Thank you. Remember, there's a picture today, tomorrow, and for the future. I'm trying to give you, here's what we need to do now, and here's stuff that you should be practicing on for tomorrow. You gotta make this into a weapon to how you use it. Very good job with the left. I can see your focus on it. Again, stay aggressive. That's it. See, when you go, when you do this, you get a little more power, obviously. Coming at you. Again. Again. Nice. Way to pull and roll. Hand path is very good. Again. Doing a good job with your left arm. See your focus on it. Better. Again. 
That was his timing. You just rushed it. Work your feet. Keep getting your space. Very good quickness. One thing I want you to work on. This has nothing to do with the stroke. Keep trying to take it early. Keep trying to be aggressive. Try to come into the court a little bit more. And I'm sure if I saw him play a match, I would say, it's too defensive, you're hitting off your back foot, you're falling backwards, there's too much spin. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're rushing too much. But just what I'm seeing here is that. I want you to try to take this a little earlier, and I'd like him to come a little bit more into court. And the reason why I'm even bringing this up, you're doing a lot of good things with your technique. A lot of good things. Coming at you. Good, way to bend. Love it. Way to go forward. Forward. Again, get your feet up position. That a boy, come on. Get around it. Now come back in. That's it. Always think attack. Always think I'm gonna hit it early. Good. And try to lock in this a little more. Lock that position. 90 degrees. Lock it. Lock it. You don't want your arms straight too soon. That's a little more, something a little different. Lock it. Good. Now try to get the arm to extend. Lock it. Left arm across. In. Nice. Stay aggressive. Left arm across. Water. Very nice. He's definitely more relaxed. I remember when you guys first came like very hyper and rushed about things. I'm sure that he rushes some still, but I see he's calm, much calmer. That's good, because the X factor with all this is the relaxation. How much can you relax to do this? Because if you're tight, none of this matters anyway. That, nothing matters. You have to, you gotta be intense, but you have to be relaxed when you swing the racket. And that's the balance any athlete has to have. 